Hi, I'm Carl and I'm a small church pastor. And today I wanna to walk you through how to use a QR code in your church, including how to create one for free. First question you might ask is what's a QR code? Well, that's why we put it on the screen right there. You've probably seen something like that in a lot of different places. Maybe you've used it or maybe you've wondered what it is. So let's take a look at three things we're gonna to see today. First of all, why should a church use a QR code? Secondly, how to create one and for free. And then thirdly, how to use it in your church. First of all, why use a QR code? Well, because this is the way people communicate today electronically. What a QR code is really simply, it's an access point to point people to whatever website you want them to go to. That's all. So you designate a QR code for your church that sends them where you want them to go. And then when they scan it, they get to go there. It's that simple. So how do we create one for free? Let me show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna to go to Google, that's a search engine I like to use. Go to whatever search engine you use, type in free QR code generator. And when you click on that, you'll get a bunch of choices. One of the first ones is going to be QR code monkey. I'm gonna show you how to use that one because it's the one I use because it's simple. I don't get paid anything for this, it's just simple for me. So let me show you how to do it. What you wanna do is you wanna put your URL, decide in advance, where do you want people to go? For most churches, it's gonna be their website. So actually go to your website and up here, copy and paste the entire URL. Don't type it in on your own. You might miss something I always do. There'll be a dash you'll miss or a period you'll miss something, okay? But right there, you do that, it's in there. That is now my website. That means this will take people here. Then don't worry about colors, don't worry about design. The only other thing that you should do is this add your logo image and here's how you do that click upload image go to your church's logo click on that open it up and all of a sudden, you see it there now if i hit create qr code over here boom it's in there now it's not generic anymore when people look at that they go oh that's the cornerstone qr code i know that because the cornerstone logo is in the middle of it it's that simple then you click download and it takes just a couple seconds to download. And when it downloads, it's then ready for you to print, to put anywhere, to use, so that people can access your website very simply without having to type the website in. So it says here, where do you wanna save it? I wanna save it in my QR code generating place. I hit save, then let's take a look at it. We open it up and boom, there it is. We've created a QR code. Now you just wanna print it and use it. So the question now is, how do we use it? So here's how we use it in our church. Let me show you. First of all, we print it up and we put it everywhere that people access regularly. We put one on all of our doors so that they can scan it and go to our website. Secondly, we put it on our sanitizing stations. When people go to wash their hands, it's very small there. It's large on the door. It works either way. Thirdly, we put it in the back of every single one of our seats. And we tell people in the middle of a service, if you want to get more information, scan the QR code. For us, it actually sends them to our link tree. Uh, if you're wondering what link tree is and why our church uses it, and in fact, I highly recommend that we send people to the, your link tree and not to your website. If you wanna know why, just go to our how to create a link tree for your church video and we'll walk you through why that's important. But wherever you designate it, it will send them. So how does it actually physically work in person when somebody scans it? Well, here's how it works. You take out your cell phone and all you simply do is you go to your, pitch, your camera app that everybody has and you hold it over. You don't even need to press anything. You hold your camera over that and immediately goes to, you see on the top there, it says go to that link. And when you click on that on the top, it goes to whatever link you designate. It's that easy. They hold it over it and they click on the link and boom, they're wherever you need them to go. It's that simple. So for free, real easy. If you have enough technical skill to be watching me on your laptop, you have enough technical skill to create and use a QR code in your church. I hope it works as well for your church as it's been working for ours. Thanks.